On this Super Review, let's take a look at the Aeropex, not my Pex, the Aeropex from Aftershocks. Fun fact, this channel actually started with my Super Review of the Aftershocks Trex Air, which is a pair of bone conduction, I guess you could call them headphones. We, I like to call them bone phones. Um, that, frankly, I mean, I gave them five stars at the time and little did I know that two years later, they'd, they're still like my most used headphone. And now it's not because they sound great. The sound quality on bone conduction is not the best, but for podcast listening, which is something I do a lot of, bone conduction is, in my opinion, the best. And now here, Aftershocks has got a new model that they're calling the Aeropex, which I don't know what Aeropex are. I definitely do not have Aeropex. I've not been working out very much, but I'm kind of curious to see what, how far bone conduction has come in, I don't know, it's been about two years since the, the Aftershocks Trex Air came out. I'm interested to see how far they've come. Now looking on their website, I can't tell much about how these things are supposed to be different. The, the Aeropex is about $10 more than the Trex Air were when I bought them originally. So they're $10 more expensive. Um, I think that battery life might be a little bit stronger on these, at least as far as they claim. Uh, and then the other thing that they're talking about is this premium pitch 2.0 sound. So maybe they've made some improvements to the sound quality I'm curious to find out. So let's go ahead and open up the box. We'll find out what we get inside the Aeropex. And then I'll spend some time living with this headphone, bone phone, whatever you want to call it. And I'll come back and I'll let you know, what do I think? So after living with the Trex Aeropex for about a week now and comparing these things directly to my other Trex, I've got both the Trex Titanium as well as the Trex Air. I'm ready to let you know what I think about these things and if these things are a good upgrade or if you've got those other Trex, should you stick with them? Or if you're just shopping for your first pair of Trex, which ones should you get? 
And we can start by talking about the, the build and the physical aspects of the Aeropex, which generally I'm pretty happy with. Even just during the unboxing, there were a couple of things that stood out to me as really nice about the Aeropex, including the unboxing experience, which was, it was an unboxing experience. I don't really care. I mean, it was pretty nice, but I, I, I don't really care what did stand out to me though. Let's see a couple of things. The case that these things come with is not something I'm probably gonna use. It's like a little silicone case, but it's got a nice magnetic flap on it. And I do, I do love me some magnets. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Trex, or thank you, Aftershocks. Uh, the other thing that stood out, which I think is kind of cool, is that I didn't know this beforehand, but these things charge with a little magnetic charger. And, you know, those things can be kind of cool. I've got a couple of different devices that have magnetic chargers, but there's one big downside to it is that it's, it's not compatible with the other chargers that I've got all around the house, whether they're USB-C or micro USB or even lightning port. I don't have this thing lying around the house, but Aftershocks actually thought of that and maybe it was an accident, but they totally included two charging cables in my package. And I think that is a nice little touch. So I can leave a charging cable at work. I can have a charging cable here at home and no matter where I've got my Trex, these aren't called Trex, no matter where I've got my Aeropex, I'm gonna be able to charge them. And I think that's actually really nice. Apart from those things that are inside the box, I am actually really happy with the build of the Aeropex. And it's very similar to what you get with the build of the Trex Air. And that's a, a headphone, a, a bone phone that I really like. So I'm pretty happy here. Uh, in fact, I do think that these are even a little bit lighter than the Trex Air, which I didn't expect. Is it enough that you would notice it on your head? I don't think so, at least not my head. Uh, maybe I've got kind of a big head, but um, weight wise, I think these things feel about the same as the Trex Air, which is to say that they basically disappear in my head, like no lie very frequently I will be wearing either the Aeropex or the Trex Airs, not listening to anything and I'll just completely forget that I'm wearing them and I'll go about my day and someone will say something like, what is that weird bone phone on your head? And I'll be like, oh, these things? Yeah. What I'm trying to say is that they're comfortable, they're so lightweight that you don't really notice them. And that's true of both the Trex Air as well as the Aeropex. One other nice improvement with the Aeropex, and this is actually, I think, a more significant improvement than the weight, is that these things are waterproof, or they're claimed, what is it, IP67 waterproof? It's not water resistant, they call it waterproof. Now, does that mean that you could take these things into the rain? Yes, probably. Does it mean that you could take these things into the shower? Probably? Does it mean that you could swim with these? I don't know about that. Now, something that's interesting to me is that Aftershocks earlier this year actually came out with two other models of bone conduction headphones that they no longer have on their website. They had one pair that was built into a pair of Oakley's looking sunglasses that they called the OptiShocks. And then the other pair, I think they were called the X Trainers, they were pitching them as made for swimming. And now, interestingly, these Aeropex basically look just like those X trainers. The one difference, at least that I can tell just based on pictures, is that the Aeropex have a button over here on the left side where the X trainers did not. Now, does that button have any influence on whether or not these things are swim proof? I really don't know. On their website, they claim that you can use these things in extreme weather and they don't say anything about swimming. So, I don't know that I would test it, but they don't make that claim of the Aeropex. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely hesitant to say that these things are waterproof to that degree. And I mentioned that there's a button over here on the left side of the Aeropex, and that is useful for just toggling pause and play. I assume it probably also picks up phone calls, but I don't make phone calls, so who knows? But um, I do actually have a little bit of a beef with this button. So on both the Trex Airs and the Trex Titanium, which are bone conduction headphones I've spent a lot of time with, they've got the same button over here on the left side, but the positioning of it is slightly different. So on the Trex Air, the button is closer to down here at the bottom. And this is gonna seem like a really minor point, but I'm gonna tell you right now, one of the things that I love about that button is that I can do this. I can reach over and hit the button with my shoulder. And that's much, much harder to do 
with the aero packs. And if you think I'm joking, I swear, I swear to you, I'm not. That is a significant need for me is to be able to hit the pause button with my shoulder. Let's just say like my hands are full, you know, I'm out doing chores outside, carrying around chicken, chicken paraphernalia, because I got chickens in my backyard or I'm doing the dishes and my hands are busy and I need to toggle pause play. It's super convenient to be able to do that with my shoulder. And you can still do it here with the arrow pecs, but it, it definitely requires more effort and more precision than it does with the other treks. Enough so that uh, during certain activities, I actually prefer to have the Trex Air. That said, there are some nice things to do with this button on the outside, uh, including the fact that you can now skip forward and backward tracks with this button. At least on my Trex Air, I can double tap the button to skip forward a track, but I can't skip backward a track. And for me, because I primarily use these things for listening to podcasts, that skip backward function actually acts as go back 15 seconds, which for me, I find really useful because a lot of the times I'm listening to something, listening to a podcast, there's a conversation going and maybe I'll miss something. And it's very useful for me to be able to go back 15 seconds and, and catch up. And I can't do that with the Trex Air, but I can do that here with the Aeropex. I think it's a, a triple tap, which is, it's a little bit of a fiddly function, a little bit of a, um, I don't know, it's, it's, an e it's, a, it's a gesture that I find easy to mess up and easy to get wrong, but I do appreciate that it's here and I do actually find it really super, super useful. So for that, <clears throat> I'm back here on the Aeropex. Maybe I do like these things better. In terms of just like Bluetooth functionality, um, these things, you know, they make a really nice strong connection. They have pretty solid range. Uh, I didn't have any issues at all with the Bluetooth functionality, but that's also true of both the Titaniums and the Airs. I think Aftershocks has got a pretty good reputation, at least with me, and I'm kind of all that matters on this channel, but they've got a pretty good reputation uh, for having solid Bluetooth and they're doing it pretty well here with the Aeropex. Now, sound quality is still not the strength of the Aeropex, if you've, or really any bone conduction. If you've ever used bone conduction before, you probably know this, but in case you haven't, Bones are good at conducting certain sound frequencies, but it's not going to have near the fidelity of basically any other type of headphone. Uh, if you're, you know, getting these things to listen to music, I would maybe hold out on that. I mean, these things can play, you know, a decent, they're decent for like a background music, right? So if you just want something playing in the background of your head, maybe you're in an office setting, and you don't want it coming out of your speakers because that would be annoying to everyone around you. Bone conduction and the Aeropex, it can do it okay. But if you're like really looking to jam out to music or really dig into the details of it, not gonna happen here. Where I think bone conduction is especially awesome is with podcasts. And if you listen to podcasts, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are into podcasts, if you're an avid podcast listener, I think you need a pair of bone conduction headphones. Whether or not they're Trex or Aftershocks, I'll let you make up your mind there, but I think that you really should get some bone conduction. So while sound quality is not really the, the appeal here, I, I will still spend a little bit of time comparing the sound of the Aeropex to the Trex Air. And I think that the Aeropex, they seem to play up the mid-range even more, play down the bass even more. So. When I moved from the Trex Titaniums to the Air, I found that the Titaniums, the older set, actually had more bass. But because of the reduced bass with the Airs, the in-between set, I found that it was easier to follow spoken audio, which is my primary use case for it. Now the Aeropex kind of take that same trend to the next level. Well, they just take it a little bit further. There's even less bass here and even a little bit more pronounced mid-range. I find that, again, I think it's good for spoken audio, right? You're listening to voices, you're listening to people talk, maybe it's an audiobook or a podcast. I think that these things are better for that. And the way that they're doing, or the frequencies that they are playing into or emphasizing now seem to also make it so that it's a little bit less prone to interference from loud noises around you. So if I'm walking near traffic, sometimes I have a hard time following a podcast, but it seems a little bit better here. 
Now the the Trex Airs, they've got stronger bass and maybe you could describe them as slightly more musical, but as I just got done saying, I don't listen to bone conduction for, for music, so for me it doesn't matter. That reduced bass, the, the main difference is that it's just going to make the, the voices a little bit more clear, and it also makes it so that these things wiggle your head a little bit less when you've got the volume maxed out. Oh, there's actually one other big difference with the Aeropex that I don't think I've mentioned yet, and it is the battery life. So the Trex Air, the battery life is rated at around six hours, which is not super long. Um, I found in practice it maybe seems a little bit longer than six hours, especially if you listen to it for six hours straight. It seems to last a little bit longer, but I mean, that's roughly what you can expect. Now the claimed battery life here with the Aeropex is up to eight hours, and that's a pretty useful difference especially if you're in a you're in a scenario where like you need something to listen to during work and you happen to be working for eight hours a six hour battery life is going to let you down somewhere in between and these things they're going to last the whole time so that could be i don't know for the way that i use bone conduction it's not really a make it or break it feature but depending on your personal lifestyle i could see that actually being pretty significant difference so out of five stars i'm going to give the Aftershocks Aeropex, another solid five stars, but <clears throat> it's a little bit of a qualified five stars. So look, just as a product on its own, this thing is pretty awesome. If you haven't used Bone Conduction, again, if you're a podcast listener, I think you owe it to yourself to get yourself a pair of Bone Conduction headphones. Um, the As far as Bone Conduction headphones go, these are among the best of all the ones that I've tried. These things are excellent. They're super lightweight super comfortable. I wear these things all day, forget they're on my head. The sound quality is, I mean, it's as good as you're going to expect bone conduction to get. Uh, battery life on these things is pretty strong, and the fact that they're waterproof could be pretty appealing to you. My biggest issue with these things is the fact that the Trex Air still exists, and now that these things are out, they've discounted the Trex Air to just $120. When I bought those, they were $150. I gave them five stars and I love them. I still love them and they're even cheaper. So now there's a $40 gap between the Trex Air and the Aeropex and you kind of got to decide for yourself whether or not it's worth it. Is it worth it to have it wa be waterproof and have two hours extra battery life? Man, I don't know. For me, the bigger, the bigger difference is honestly the fact that 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 button over there is harder to reach. And now I can still activate it with my shoulder. It's just a little bit more of a pain in the butt. But then that button does also let me skip backwards 15 seconds in my podcast. And that is also a big deal. So I have a hard time deciding for myself which one I prefer. Which one are you going to prefer? I don't know. If you're interested in checking out the Aftershocks Aeropex, of course, I've got links in the description down below, and while you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video if you liked it. You can subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you on the next Super Reveal.